I think arguably is the key word there. Look, we've had some really big upsets uh, in the past, but you have to say this one is right up there with the rest of them. Uh, what could you compare this to? I suppose as far as Argentina are concerned, uh, my mind goes back to the opening game of the 1990 World Cup in Italy when Argentina were the defending champions. Maradona was on the pitch. They were playing against Cameroon in the opening game. Uh, Cameroon beat them 1-0. You can go further back as well. For instance, uh, the USA beating England in 1950. North Korea uh, beating Italy in 1966. We also had Republic of Ireland uh, beating Italy. We had South Korea uh, beating Italy as well. But when you think about the fact that uh, Saudi Arabia were 30 to 1 outsiders uh, in a two horse race and they're ranked 51st in the world and they were playing against an Argentina side who are unbeaten in 36 games, many people made them the favourites to win this tournament and Lionel Messi was on the pitch. A lot of people say that he is the greatest footballer of all time, yet Saudi Arabia managed to win the game. An absolutely incredible performance uh, from them. At the end of the game, the Saudi Arabians uh, were celebrating as if they'd won the World Cup final. Uh, the Argentinian players looked as if they'd lost the World Cup final. They were that disappointed and that down. One other point I would make is that the hotel we're staying in is full of Argentina supporters. And I'm not looking forward to going back there this evening. Uh, yeah, that's not going to be fun for you. Um, look, you mentioned it. They are 51st in the world rankings. What do you think this could do for football in Saudi Arabia? Well, look, we've seen uh, the Saudi Arabia government uh, investing a lot of money in sports, in football, both inside Saudi Arabia uh, and outside Saudi Arabia as well. And I think it was significant. I think all the players who represented Saudi Arabia today actually play in the Saudi Arabian League. And we also know that uh, Saudi Arabia want to follow in the footsteps of Qatar and they want to bid to host the World Cup probably in 2030 uh, in a joint bid with Greece and Egypt. So this will be a big, big boost to Saudi Arabia football, to Saudi Arabia sports, to the Saudi Arabian League, uh, to their dream of hosting the World Cup in 2030. And also I'm wondering what Cristiano Ronaldo is thinking this afternoon, because of course uh, it's reported that he turned down a 30 million pound offer uh, to move to a Saudi Arabian club in the summer. Of course, it looks like he will be leaving Manchester United in the next few months, probably before uh, the end of the January transfer window. I'm just wondering if maybe he watched that game and thought, you know what, maybe I should uh, end my career in Saudi Arabia. It looks like uh, it could be quite an interesting move for me.